the first thanksgiving by cotton mather from magnalia christi americana published in seventeen twenty coffee break collection twenty two days gone by this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org from page fifty four of volume one in one of the first summers after their sitting down at plymouth a terrible drought threatened the ruin of all their summer's husbandry from about the middle of may to the middle of july an extreme hot sun beat down upon their fields without any rain so that all their corn began to wither and languish and some of it was irrecoverably parched up in this distress they set apart a day for fasting and prayer to deprecate the calamity that might bring them to fasting through famine in the morning of which day there was no sign of any rain but before the evening the sky was overcast with clouds which went not away without such easy gentle and yet plentiful showers as revived a great part of their decayed corn for a comfortable harvest the indians themselves took notice of this answer given from heaven to the supplication of this devout people and one of them said now i see that the englishman's god is a good god for he hath heard you and sent you rain and that without such tempest and thunder as we used to have with our rain which after our powwowing for it break down the corn whereas your corn stands whole and good still surely your god is a good god the harvest which god thus gave to this pious people caused them to set apart another day for solemn thanksgiving to the glorious hearer of prayers end of the first thanksgiving by cotton mather